So the first thing we wanted to talk about was attendance, because obviously at a lot of our meetings, attendance has been really, really low. Um, and we want to make sure that we're kind of following up with people because we don't want them to be missing out on their information. And so Kyle, after the last meeting, sent out a really, really great email that I'm going to link in, um, or I'm going to just send to all of you guys. I linked it in this agenda, but I also want to give you guys like another copy of it um, to the IB Global House, and it was really, really good. Um, so just as an exemplar, this is what he sent out. So sometimes I feel like I just like accountability and uncovering is helpful for me, especially if someone just reminding me about why the work we do is important. It's really all it takes to get me back invested, and so that was sort of like the goal. So just using positive language to frame like what we're doing, recognize people are busy, but to stress like that we want to hear everybody's voice, and then to like set a goal. So we had like maybe four people out of like the fifteen people that were supposed to be there that were there. Which kind of not only impacted the work, but kind of like decreased our team that was there more out because we felt like other people weren't invested, so it kind of made us feel like, so we're trying to put that back up. That's sort of the goal. So we set a goal for next meeting, we wanted like 90% of us there, we had only 25%, again, thinking of further work and then closing it out. And thinking about that and what I saw on her agenda from earlier, if you go back to the main agenda, for today, and then you click on this link, it'll force a copy that you can use to send out in advance to the next house lead meeting to kind of build the staff morale. So you make a copy, and you can type on this copy that it makes, and you can copy that email and just send it out. So I sort of set a template up that was similar to the last one. <coughs> that makes sense. You can click make a copy and look at it really. So it's like a quick introduction. <coughs> Statements about investment the morale. This is where it's going to be at. A copy of the agenda we can make there, like you already put Stuff. This is the goal for the meeting, attendance, and outcomes, why this is important, and then like wrap it up. So before the meeting, reminder, this is our goal after meeting. Follow up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so we'll make sure that you guys all have a copy of this. Um, it might also be helpful, Chelsea suggested, and she'll be here when you're at a district ILP meeting. Um, that you do a reminder on one or a group meet that might be quicker for you guys just to send out a quick little text. Um, it might also be helpful to give people in your house some responsibility so that they know they're responsible for showing up because they're responsible for some part of the meeting, such as taking attendance, which we're going to start doing by house, or timekeeping to make sure you guys don't go way, way over what you want to. Hi. How are you? Um, does anyone have questions about just attendance? I just wanted to hit out that real quick. Okay, t-shirts, we're not going to talk about this, but just for the time, kind of a reminder, we really, really want to get t-shirts in, only one house head, and obviously the sooner we get the designs in, the sooner we get them to the students. Um, and then the last piece that I'm just going to speak about um, without us doing some work is we really want to start building this community within the houses, and it really take, requires us to get to know each other, know who's in our house. Obviously, our houses are built around these CTE pathways, and I don't know, as a general ed teacher, I don't know where a lot of these classrooms are or what they look like. So we would like you to spend just a half an hour of the next meeting, and this is in your template or your meeting agenda um, next, for the next meeting, to go to the CTE classrooms, let the teachers show that this is where my classroom is and this is what I teach. Um, if they have any, you know, I would love to see like, what the culinary room looks like, right? Because I've just never been in there. I think it'd be really interesting. Um, I'm sure, and I'm sure I have a thousand questions for Ms. Myrick. So this would be a really good opportunity for us to do this. Ms. Lott, and my CTE teachers can confirm, has sent this out to you guys already, correct? Yeah. Um, and guys, this isn't anything formal. Like, they don't need to clean up their rooms. They don't need to do a presentation. We really just want them to explain what they teach and where they're at. Ms. Lori Williams might want to clean up her room. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Right, we don't, this isn't supposed to be extra work on anyone, we just want to start facilitating those conversations because eventually we're going to use house meetings as planning time so that people can start making those cross-curricular connections, but we can't make cross-curricular connections if we don't know what other people teach. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Does anyone have questions about that? Or concerns or comments? Okay. This is really, and then again, that will be our next meeting. Our next meeting is actually going to be on a Tuesday because the Wednesday is annual leave. Okay? 
So it's gonna be on Tuesday, November 20th, right after school. Let's try to keep like a half an hour of business, half an hour of going to the CT classrooms, because obviously before Thanksgiving, nobody wants to be at a two hour meeting. We're gonna try to keep it to like an hour. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. All right, the last thing. Well, Ms. Murray, let me ask you yeah. a question, because my child had decided on November 14th, you know, you told us we could choose the date. So would we just be doing that same stuff on the 14th? I don't know. I thought you guys told us to pick the date on the last one on the agenda. And it was like originally scheduled for November 21st, and then you said that we could select another one. Maybe I'm so sure. I must have not have been very clear. I'm so okay. sorry. I would like us all to do it on the same day. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all have a problem with it. All the house members said they would be there on that day. I don't think it's a problem. Okay. Because okay. I don't want to be confused. Yeah, just okay. take a 10 minutes. Okay. 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 Yeah. And then um, here's the last thing, guys. So our, our students obviously don't know a lot about this. So we're just starting to roll it out. Um, and we really want to get them involved. And we want them to know what house they're in, what teachers are in their house. And so we're going to do a pep rally during the fourth block the day before Christmas break. We're going to do a house pep rally. Because let's be honest, fourth block the day before Christmas break, they're crazy anyways, right? Uh, <laughs> And so what we'll do is we'll go to our homerooms and I'll send out really detailed instructions about this when we get closer. Um, but we'll go to our homerooms, take attendance, and then you'll take your homeroom to the, your house meeting because obviously all the kids in your homeroom are in your house. Um, we do need to plan for this and that's what I wanted you guys to do today is to plan for your pep rallies. So we're gonna have all four houses in different locations. I, we haven't determined which house is in location yet and so if you want things like music playing or some kind of technology, um, maybe, especially if it's music, which is great, you really want to get the kids pumped about this, you're going to need to want to just like facilitate that conversation with your house because you guys might need to bring speakers. Obviously in the gym, we don't have a lot of access to technology, but there are only a couple places on campus that we can house all these teachers and all these kids at the same time. Does that make sense? Okay. And so, if you guys go to, um, your, do you guys know where your individual folders are for your houses? Yes. Yep, okay. So if we go to our individual folders, I'm just going to go into the, um, this one. It's labeled 03. <coughs> this is like our pep rally template. So these are things that we want you guys to start talking about, start facilitating. What you're going to do in the next meeting with your houses and the agenda for that's also in your folder is you're going to I would recommend that you script out a plan and then present it to your house to give feedback. Because you get all 20 teachers all talking about this, that's gonna be a very long meeting, right? Um, and so it might be better as house leads if you guys kind of come up with a general format and then get feedback from your houses that you can incorporate um, to just kind of alter your plan based on everyone's opinion. But have like, like some kind of skeleton for them. And so you, we have this house pep rally template. And so we want a way to present the teachers in the house. So obviously we want this to be really exciting. Um, I feel like everyone that's a house lead has like really good vibes in the school anyways, and everyone is really, really excited. So I'm sure you guys can do that. Um, when we shout out the scholars, this is something that I'm gonna communicate with Ms. Brown about because we really like to shout out scholars who have already completed CTE certification. So really these two things should probably be switched because we need the kids to understand that they're completing CTE certifications from their CTE pathways. And some of our kids have already done that, and so we want to shout out those kids. Does that make sense? So no. this part, you guys probably can't do yet. No, they haven't been done yet? The year on pass, or they may not be completed until next year. Because I have seniors who have like level one and they go to level two. That's a completion. So they don't, they don't, you may have, I don't know, Four, five, maybe six right now. Yeah, they yeah. didn't go through this mile, right. now they just started with me. Yeah. Maybe we could okay. shout out the ones. These are my certifications. Yeah. We have to get that from this. Well, because the scheduling is yeah. so crazy. So I can get somebody to come from this mile already that maybe start with me. They might be considered a completer. Or she might have some of my kids that complete level one too. And they might start with me. So those are the kind of people you want to correct. But you don't really get the amount, you don't get a large amount of them until 
second. Or in second semester. Because that's usually when our seniors take the second level classes. Well, that might be good just to shout out the one. The ones that are <laughs> the on their way to, to it. it. And this round yeah, 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 yeah. always put our level yeah. ones in our level twos. So they yeah. might end up in Ms. Myers' class this semester. But they they might be in my class first semester, but she, because she's got level two, they're taking level one with level one with her, and level one with me. They go to her and be completely they her they class. They got two chances. They got two chances to be a completer. Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. one of us gets credit. For yes, right. only one of us gets credit. But is a completer? That's good. That's I good. Don't know. Right. Does that? completer does completer mean certificate? Uh, yeah, it counts yeah. for us downtown. Okay. Yeah, a completer okay. means that you've gone through every class that is required for the okay. class. Okay. Your okay. Principles of business, business your entrepreneurship, your pair one, your pair two. That's a completer. Okay. But then we could also okay. shout out the students for like the Microsoft Word yes. Cert yes. certification. Yes. That might be better. Yeah. They, they get immediate certification. They get yeah. And then Miss um, Walker has finished her. Course oh, mm. and their certificates, yeah. okay, their so students earn certificates. It might be that easy course. for your area now. There are some cities that have passed that have gone through. Mm -hmm. Serve so they, yeah, they still they are serve not say, they're not considered completers until they take that uh, work. But we can yeah. shout them out for the serve safe, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for just for the certificate um, part. I, so. yeah. it, it makes a difference. I mean, completer is totally different oh. for now because so, of all of my graduates. Like, she gotcha. can reach, that, that Microsoft certification is, you know, mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. You might have more kids doing that. So maybe we'll, uh, even if it's just a couple kids from completing CT pathways and then some a larger number that have certifications, maybe we can just. Because we can announce what they've done. Yeah, um, and you can give them this brown, and she can tell yeah. you the ones that she thinks that would, uh, you would highlight uh, for this semester. Mm -hmm. But next semester, you would have plenty to choose from. Okay. I mean, this semester is a little. Is it mostly seniors that complete it at the end? It could be some juniors. Because we've had, like, Keon, Keon mm -hmm. did both our curriculum. Yeah. I mean, we have some seniors. We have some students that do both and overlapping. Yeah. OK. Uh, you could also, I know we're not. Um, there's going to be an assembly, but it, one other celebration that may hit some more kids is just like almost like honor roll. So like you, that that could be a kid that honor roll. And then we have we have our honor roll, which is uh, national technical. Technical. Mm. You're going to yeah, have yeah, those members. They're active. Miss Beecham has their active, so you can shout them out. So yeah. yeah. We, it can be a lot of celebrations. So it's, all the, the celebrations in the houses. Honor roll. Uh, uh, it's National Vocational Technical Honor Society. Society. That's the name of it. National Vocational Technical Honor Society. And also, too. And then we can do general honor roll. 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 Miss Ms. Ayers. Yeah. Ms. Ayers. 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 Just put all, yeah. CTSOs. Do the, yeah. CTSOs. Mm -hmm. All those people need to recognize. Yeah. Yeah. That's lots of right. I think that's yeah. yeah. all the children. Okay. Especially when we get in the ABA area because they already don't feel recognized, like in front of the school or their houses. So Are you doing like people. overall or just CTE classes? We could do overall, that's a way to get more kids involved, but you guys have an honor society too. We have an honor society that you have to have A to B's. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's good. So we can get lists and um, I'll work with Brown and Ward and Kevin and um, get you guys and sure. and, mm -hmm. you, and, and Ms. Brown, yep, and all of them. And we'll get you guys your individual um, list of kids. So like I'll get the fashion design <laughs> hours. Go Put in parentheses um, for you, Lorraine, uh -huh. that Nazer is the one you're going to want to go to for honor roll because he's already writing reports for the general honor roll stuff. Nazer and E. Uh -huh. For general honor so roll. And then Nicho. It's like we have a house chant, right? So the kids could get really like, excited about stuff or a house banner that they could fly at these events. Now, obviously, there's four hundred kids across the board. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Not all 400 of them are going to be there because it's the day before Christmas. Oh, yeah. So, you know, we can assume we have less than that, but all the majority of your teachers should be there. So, what you're going to want to do <laughs> should. <laughs> so, what you're going to want to do is kind of, I would rate your teachers. 
<laughs> Y'all, I would break your teachers into these two categories so you can kind of put them in charge of certain sections and then find, decide how you're gonna break up these kids and we obviously would have to facilitate this in a certain way, right? It has to be pretty cleaned out, very similar to like what Ms. Davis did with um, homecoming. So maybe you can speak to that about your like, thought process when you're planning that a little bit. You don't have to, okay. Oh, um, um, well, no, it's really literally just really taking the time to sit down and literally I wrote everything down. So I was thinking about, okay, this is how the time period is. This is usually how long it takes the kids to get into a classroom to be settled. Um, I was thinking about hero passes and all of that. Um, and in the process with the administration, administrative feedback, um, you want to go ahead and let admin know this is where I we best need your assistance. And let um, security and deans and BMTs know this is where we best need your assistance. That's what helps it move slow, uh, move faster, because everyone knows where their designation, where they're designated, um, and then doing a lot of pre-planning before the planning. So knowing, okay, if we have 400 students, these are the teachers we have in our house. Cool, let's break it up. You have A through whatever last names. You have this or whatever last names, and then they divvy up. Then you, then you partnership with the teacher. Okay, you two, you guys will be in partners. You'll be in charge of these 40 kids. You two, you have requirements, you be in charge. So that way they know the sections, they know the students, or you can just bring it off. Okay, you two, your home rooms, you five, your home rooms, you guys will be together. Your home rooms, you guys will be together. So that way it's not confusion. If we get all that done in the meeting that we have next, it will be a lot easier for the parent rod because everyone knows their duties. Uh, do you have that written down? Maybe that can be a foundation that we start with. Some of us don't have our own. Yeah, you just gotta um, come here. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, did she say that? one of the things that, that might be a good idea just when thinking about breaking up folks and groups, and then these challenges like creating house chants and banners. If, if you have groups working on all the things within the grade level, you could put grade levels in the corner that can compete. With each other. For each thing. Ooh, so okay. you might have the freshmen over here and four groups are working on four different things over here to represent the freshmen with the chant and da da da. Okay. And then everybody can vote on the things. I'm just trying to think about it. Okay. And they can actually come together as cohorts, oh. which they rarely So my question is in the meeting, we're not in this meeting right now. We're not coming up with a chant because I thought that's what we were doing. No, no, no. The kids are going to be. Oh, so yeah. well, so we want to say it's not what they want them to. Oh, okay, great. Right. Organize what you want your pet ride to look like, and then on the 20th, during the house meetings. Oh, so the pet ride is not the whole school together, it's just our house it's together. Just your house oh, together. I love that. Okay. And then bring, <laughs> the, bring this template all filled out with all of your ideas to your house. Ask okay. them for feedback. Okay. Because feedback takes less time than creating from Can I ask right. this? How are the students divvied up? Are there more ninth graders in this house? In my house, or are they, is there a split? Because yeah, if you have a section of mine, because I can't have two cities over here trying to oppose. Well, two, I have two one. Of it won't be two seniors. Yeah, because I have a little grade in my home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have 11 to 12.